Okay, so subject of the day is Chick-fil-A. Um, I'd written a blog post, I can't remember, maybe a couple months ago, about how I thought that the, the boycott on Chick-fil-A was silly. And at the time I did. Because at the time, uh, as far as I could tell, all it was was Chick-fil-A had donated some money to organizations that were uh, pro-family. And some of these organizations uh, were pro-heterosexual only families and anti-gay families. Um, I, at the time, didn't think that, uh, that that was reason to boycott uh, Chick-fil-A because some of their money they spent in uh, donating to charities that I didn't agree with, or organizations that I didn't agree with. I don't, when I shop, I really don't want to take the time to find out where every single penny goes that this company that I'm shopping at is, is using their money. You know, when I, go to, when I go to Walmart, I don't want to go find out every single place where they spend their money and, and donate money and decide whether I'm going to shop at Walmart based on that. I think that's uh, far too much effort and I think it's also ridiculous. I think for the most part how somebody else spends their money is their own business and they should be allowed to uh, to do whatever they like with it. Uh, but something changed when the president or CEO or whatever it is of uh, a Chick-fil-A came out and said that they oppose gay marriage rights and said that they are in favor of traditional marriage, which means only heterosexual couples. Um, at that point in time, uh, I see that Chick-fil-A is no longer just a company that's giving some of its profits to um, pro heterosexual, anti-gay um, organizations, but that it is now itself an anti-gay organization, that it is now actively fighting against gay rights. And for that reason, I will not be eating at Chick-fil-A uh, again. Uh, I, I didn't eat there that much to begin with, so obviously me not eating there, even if I ate there every day, me not going there anymore really isn't going to affect their business all that much. And I don't, I don't expect that it will. And honestly, I don't think that there will be a huge dent in Chick-fil-A's um, business because of anybody boycotting them. Uh, maybe there will be, maybe not. I mean, I don't know. I don't expect that there will be. Um, personally, I don't care either way. Um, but I don't want to spend any of my money investing in an organization that I know is anti-gay. I'm not going to donate any money to the LDS Church because I know they'll spend it on fighting gay rights. I'm not going to donate any money to NOM or uh, other anti-gay organizations. And I'm not going to shop at a place, at a business, that is anti-gay, including Chick-fil-A. Um, and I'm not, I'm not militant about this boycott. I don't think, I'm not, you know, there are some... Some people that uh, that might criticize other gay people that, that do eat at Chick-fil-A and say, oh, we need to all stand together. Well, whatever. I mean, if you want to eat at Chick-fil-A, eat at Chick-fil-A. You know, go for it. And it's not going to offend me. I'm not going to think that you're trying to spite me by eating at Chick-fil-A. I don't even think that you are anti-gay if you eat at Chick-fil-A. You know, you go spend your money there. I don't think that that makes you anti-gay. I really don't, and I'm not going to judge you for it, and fine. I I don't see why, I mean, everybody says, oh, it's the best chicken in the universe, or whatever. I, I don't think there's anything all that special about it, personally. I've had Chick-fil-A, I've had Wendy's chicken sandwiches, they taste the same. I don't, I don't see any huge difference.
there. And I'm fine eating at Wendy's. Um, but yeah, I, th I think people should be able to spend their money the way they want to. And uh, and as for me personally, I, I will not be spending my money at Chick-fil-A because I, I don't think that I want to when they're being actively and openly anti-gay. Um, and I just heard today that uh, the Henson Studios, the, the Muppets company, has decided to end their contract with Chick-fil-A. And that, I don't, I, don't know, it's, I don't think it's a huge deal, but I mean, it's a big deal. It's not just, it's not just them saying, okay, people don't eat at Chick-fil-A anymore. They, they, you know, they actually had a contract with Chick-fil-A. They had, um, as I understand it, they had some Muppet toys or something in the Chick-fil-A kids' meals that, uh, that they'd sell. And, uh, and they probably um, were sponsored by Chick-fil-A, you know, that have commercials or whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> but, so, you know, that's a big deal to have uh, one of your business uh, contracts like that be ended because... And, and and I admire I admire uh, the Hensons for for doing that for saying you know what we're pro equality and we you know we can't do business with a company that's going to be openly um, discriminated like that and so cut the cord and you know that's great that's awesome uh, perhaps more people will do that perhaps not you know obviously Mike Huckabee applauds and cheers Chick-fil-A. Oh, there's a surprise, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I just think you, uh, people, people can, you know, you can make your point by, by where you spend money. And uh, whether, whether it affects uh, Chick-fil-A's uh, business or not, um, I feel better uh, not not spending money there.